What would happen if you walk 10,000 steps every single day for a year? Would you notice any particular changes to your physique? Would your calves become stronger? Would they grow? Would your mental as well as physical health improve? Or would you see no difference at all? All of these questions will be answered in this very episode of Gym Theory. Before we start today's video, a quick installment from today's video sponsor. Today's video sponsor is Manscaped, with only the best for men's grooming and hygiene products. Do you have fruits in your garden? Do you wish to display your fruits in such a manner that makes people say, Wow, those are some cool fruits, man. Well, Manscaped has got the best tools to groom your fruits using their new Lawnmower 4.0 pimped out with the latest of shaving technology and waterproof design. Alongside everything you can find in their Performance Package 4.0, which is an all-inclusive deal. Manscaped also recently launched their new boxer briefs, which are comfy as fuck. They come in a bunch of different color combinations with a little pouch for your gum gum fruit to rest. So go off and get yourself something nice and useful and you can use the code BACKGUY for 20% off your entire order and free worldwide shipping. Everything will be linked down below in the description. You've probably read in a lot of articles and blog posts that 10,000 steps on a daily is the key to a long and healthy life. And judging on a lot of the comments I've been receiving regarding calf training, because apparently a lot of my subscribers believe I need that, walking is the most suggested tip by far. The average adult in the United States walks about 5,100 steps on a daily basis. So does that mean, on average, should people walk twice as much in order to become healthier? Well, not exactly. You see, the recommendations for physical activity, which are already very low in my opinion, equates to around 30 minutes of daily physical activity, which in terms of steps would be just over 3000 if you walk with an average pace. However, this number is what you have to add on top of your so-called habitual activity, which is how much you would normally move in a day regardless. Yeah, I know that sounds a bit weird, but with the habitual level included, the daily recommended step count per day is somewhere between 7000 1100 and 11,000 steps to meet your daily recommended physical activity levels. That of course also depends on the incline and pace you perform those steps at. Well then where the hell does this 10,000 steps theory come from? Well it actually dates back to around 50 years ago as a part of slogans used in Japanese walking clubs, meaning it doesn't necessarily hold any scientific strength or value on its own. But let's take a look at it from a different perspective. Inactivity is the leading cause of lifestyle related diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, and most of which relates very strongly to body weight and also body composition. This also contributes to aspects of mental health. And if you consider that the average step count per day is just 5,000, adding another 5,000 on top of your daily steps would at the very least increase energy expenditure and maybe be enough to actually lose weight, hopefully most of which would be excess body fat over time. Using the weight of an average person being around 62 kilos, though I assume most of my subscribers weigh significantly more considering a lot of you are from the United States. Performing those steps would result in you burning around 300 calories more on a daily basis. Given that you don't actually increase your calorie intake, that would give you a weekly increase of around 2000 calories, which is about what a normal guy actually eats in a day. So in theory, by increasing your step count to 10,000, if you're an average dude anyway, you would burn an extra day's worth of calories every single week. But what about the changes to your actual calf muscles and leg strength? Well, currently there's not a whole lot of data actually looking at muscle hypertrophy relative to step count. Frankly, there are much better ways to actually achieve those gains than just walking. But let's take a look at the primary working muscles during a stride. Now these will of course vary a bit depending on the surface that you actually are walking on and whether that be steps flat ground or perhaps a steep incline. Generally, the four muscles of the quadriceps extend the knee and the rectus femoris, however the hell you pronounce it in English, also help flex the hip in order to lift the foot off the floor. The muscles of the hamstrings bend the knee primarily when initiating the stride and then the gluteus maximus along with parts of the hamstrings help extend the hip bringing the leg backwards as one moves forward. The glutes and hamstrings are also much more active on an incline and especially when climbing stairs. Some of these smaller muscles also serve 
important functions such as the gluteus medius and minimus slightly abducting the leg and controlling pelvic stability. And all of these guys also serve more of a controlling purpose when walking and running. And onto the calves, the tibialis anterior located at the front of the calf lifts the toes during dorsiflexion and the gastrocnemius and soleus, which are the larger calf muscles, work with elevating the heel off the floor and also pushing the foot off the ground. Now, even though all of these muscles are rather active during the walking motion, the mechanical tension and also metabolic stress that these muscles receive during regular paced walking would simply not be enough to cause any major changes to muscle size for at least the average guy. Now, that doesn't mean it wouldn't improve muscle function or endurance to some degree, but it is rather unlikely to see any major changes without any added external load or even vigorous tempo. Incline walking could in theory be beneficial given that the ankle is in more of a stretched position and would probably also be worked through a longer range of motion. Would it be comparable to full ROM calf races? Very doubtful, but it could at the very least be a more fun alternative to calf training, and it could additionally provide other health benefits. So long story short, what would happen if you walk 10,000 steps every single day? Well, you'd probably burn more calories on a weekly basis, including some mild calf hypertrophy if you're not already doing some sort of calf training. It could also be beneficial for your mental health and unless you live in an absolute weather shithole like me you could also get some good vitamin D. Walking is also generally seen as a low threshold activity and if you want to do something active with your friends or family who aren't really into sports or working out walking is always a great alternative. Hey, before you leave, check out my main sponsors linked in the description, such as MyProtein and Young LA. You can use the code BACK for some handsome discounts. It helps me out a lot, and I love you. I'll see you guys next time.